yet still have an open mind towards your people, towards your nation, I will say you should give him a go today. Ghanaian men are actually the best. Charlie, I've told you, I've given you tips. If you want a Ghanaian man to be on his knee for you, just love his country. You know, get problem. But don't be with him and constantly put Ghana down. Charlie, one person, you will not see. Kwame Kweku, if you hear your name there, say present ma. Kofi Kwame Ata. Hey, 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 Mensa. If you hear your name, just say present ma. Um, if I remember your name, I'll call it. So, all the other names that I can remember, if you are in the building, you should go after the sister and correct the impression. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi there, darling. Welcome. My name is Lily, and today I want to react to this trending video of an American lady reacting to Ghanaian men. So, hold on and see the video. Just a bit of it, then I will give my thoughts on it. My life. They are men who do not <laughs> take care of their women, okay? Never in your life even think about dating the Ghanaian men. You will regret it. So I stumbled on that video on Web Nation, a Ghanaian YouTuber also. And the lady talking in that video is an American lady, African-American, giving her opinion on Ghanaian men. Already before this video, before I stumbled on this video, I had it in mind to talk about Ghanaian men and if you should or shouldn't say yes to that ring from a Ghanaian man. Okay, with that being said, let's go straight into the video. Hit the like button. Don't forget to comment when you understand my video. Okay, so lady had said that Ghanaian men are stingy. They are the most... Uh, stingy men, they are the this, they are the that, and I don't know why she's generalizing. I am not here to judge her, but I'm wondering why will you rise just because you have been with one or a couple of men doesn't mean that in that country, every man in that country is like that. Yes, I know that hereditary thing, I know, but I don't think she's 100% um, right because no matter how many men you have dated, definitely. She certainly have not dated 50% of the population of men in Ghana. For me, the only thing I would tell you as a Nigerian lady about marrying a Ghanaian man or dating a Ghanaian man, from my own experience, is this type of Ghanaian man, you must never say yes to him. Now see, this one that hits your country, you may not exactly be a Nigerian, you may be a Kenyan or any other part of the world, even American. People certainly, it's not every nation, like some countries in the world, you think everybody loves them, but that's not true because there are people who have their resentments about these countries and the citizens of that country. So even in America, there are people who do not like Americans. You have to know that and know peace. If you meet a man, especially in Ghana here, through my own experience, is strictly based on my experience. If you meet a Ghanaian man and he hates your country, he hates your people, <laughs> he detests them. I want to tell you, sister, do not accept that ring. Do not accept that proposal because you are in for a big, long hell of a trouble. So when you see a Ghanaian man that dislike your country, that dislike the people of your country, Commonly, we Nigerians feel that a lot. So you will see a man who, who claims to like you but hates everything Nigerian. So how are you going to cope with a man like that? If you are going to marry this type of man, how are you going to do it? Because already with all that, it simply shows that there is nothing you are going to do that he will see you beyond what he sees your people. If he likes you at the moment, it is just there. But sometimes the people that does that are out to take a revenge on the people from that country they hate so much. So you have to be careful. For me, my opinion of Ghanaian men is certainly not stingy one. I have not, I think, I can't say Ghanaian men are stingy. I can't. Hey, 
I've not dated a lot of people in Ghana. Yeah, I know. But like I've, you know, had a relationship or two in Ghana. And I can't say that stinginess was one of the problem. I never had to deal with that. I've never, in fact, I've never dated a stingy Ghanaian man before. As a matter of fact, with my full chest. Now, if I want to go on generalizing that Ghanaian men are generous, are the most generous men in the relationship, it's going to be unfair to maybe a lady like this one or like another who may have had a different experience altogether. The reason a Ghanaian man is going to be stingy to you is because he hates where you're from, he hates your country, he hates you, and he's doing everything to make him feel good about how you truly feel about your people. Get this, I know peace. I've been posting consistently, I've been posting pictures on my community tap here on, on YouTube, constantly looking for, praying and hoping I find my future husband. Somebody's son will come and say, Lily, let me marry you. So because of that, I have met incredible Ghanaians who reached out to me privately and asked if we could. But I know I've always have one thing to say. I'm not available. I'm actually... Okay, let me not expose what I used to tell them. But there's this particular one that I can't forget, you know. He reached out to me through Facebook. He never liked my Facebook page, but I advertised the page here on YouTube. By the way, please, can you follow me on Facebook? My Facebook name is Lily Ogini Vlogs. I'm going to write it here on the screen. Follow me or I beg you, follow me on, on my page. So there's this particular one that reached out. He followed me. He didn't follow the page. He just went straight and sent me an inbox through the page and told me, oh, he's a Ghanaian. He based in so-so and so country. Because for me, when I hear I'm a Ghanaian, for me, I feel I know for sure that you may be following my YouTube videos. And why not? I want to mingle with you. I want to associate with you. You are like my brother to me. So I responded to him immediately. So he told me, oh, he would like to get my WhatsApp number. And then I gave it. Why not? He's my brother. He's a Ghanaian. So I gave the number. And then he contacted me on WhatsApp. We got talking. And then the following, the first thing he told me when he could call, like he asked if he could. If he asked me, this guy asked if he could call and I said yes. And then he called me and the first thing he was saying is how he hates Nigerians. He said Nigerians are the most, he said some, like the most, he said some horrific things about Nigerians. Nigerians are these, the Nigerians have caused West Africans so much pain everywhere they have damn the reputation of West Africa they have done this he kept on in all of our conversation this is a man who wants to see if we could date but he was on and on telling me about how my people are how Nigerians never take uh, Nigerians are always right they are arrogant they never take corrections they are this they are they are scammers oh my god I was so hot he kept on going hard and he was telling me you have to tell them you have to tell them Oh my God, I felt I was exhausted, but I needed to hold my patience before, he's, before he would start judging me. So I didn't talk. I knew that. So I just told him, oh God, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I am in a relationship, so I won't be available. I'm not available, so check elsewhere. So since that day, he didn't chat me again until, until about a week later or two weeks later. This person contacted me on whatsapp and sent me numerous messages and by the time i opened them there were things like did you give my non number to a nigerian i have been hacked by a nigerian so don't reply to any message from this page again i have been hacked by a nigerian and he was very fortunate that day that I was in bad mood and I could give it to him because the other time he kept on with this Nigerians did that, Nigerians did that. I was patient, of course, why not? But that day I had enough so I could give him back the taste of his own medicine. I don't have issues. Don't get me wrong. I do not have issues that he hates Nigerians. But him coming to rub it on my face, telling me how much he hates Nigerians, 
then why do you want to be with one? So what I'm saying is marrying a man like that, just this, you already sent me pictures of him in a white man country with white men, you know, so to convince me that he's actually living in a white man country. So of course, maybe I'm looking for a man that will marry and take me abroad. So I don't exactly say I'm not or I am. Okay. So you want to convince me. So, but rubbing the hatred you have for my people, or me means what? Like, I said, okay, you know what? You see? So if I say yes to this man, do you think for this life I'm going to have peace of mind? No, I will not. He is constantly going to question everything I do. He's going to, if we have issues in our home, maybe thieves broke into our homes, into our home. Maybe we have issues, or maybe something got stolen, or a social media handle of us, or anything happened, we get scammed by mobile money scammers, is going to constantly say, I gave it to my people to scam him. Do you get it? Why I say you should avoid any Ghanaian that dislike your people? This is not, I've said it before, you can, it may be a Ghanaian that do not like people from other nations, not just Nigerians. So based on their own experience, like this lady have generalized, she have made up her mind that Ghanaian men are stingy. There are men like that too, who have made up their mind that anybody from a particular country is, is evil. So how are you going to put up with this type of people? So this is me warning you. If you, for me, I don't, See, the first relationship I had here in Ghana when I came was, I talked about that guy in one of my videos. <laughs> I talked about Kwame in one of my videos where, you know, he was the first Ghanaian man that I ever dated. And he seriously, like, I don't know if you have that ex that you may take back if um, he's wanting you back. Uh, reasons are good enough, are clear enough, you may take him back. Kwame is one of those people that I always take back. If I ever consider taking an ex back, he's definitely one of those men that I would take back. He was so, apart from being extremely kind to me, he was so supportive of my life, especially when a Ghanaian man knows that you love his country. Hey, Charlie, you love his country, you love his food and his people. You don't have to worry. You are covered with, especially when it comes to generosity, they are there. So there are other areas that I have been struggling with dating a man in Ghana, which I don't think is necessary to, uh, to talk here because that will mean me generalizing, right? It's from my experience, I'm taking notes like, okay, this happened before. This is happening for the second time. So I can't, exactly generalized because i'm waiting for the third and maybe the final one you get it i end up getting married or uh, getting single again and i'm done <laughs> i'm done i'm done so you get it so she generalizing is just so it's so confusing like i'm not attacking her i'm not tackling her but i just wish that she don't generalize you understand how do you really feel when someone just generalized that all the people from your country or the men from your country or women are terrible husbands or something. So yeah, that's my take. If you want to marry a Ghanaian man, go on ahead, but make sure he loves your people. If, even if you do not love your people, even if you do not um, completely agree with the lifestyle of the people of your country, but it shouldn't be a hater. I hope you know the difference. There are people who don't agree with your points, but still won't hate you. Uh, but there are people who hate you. That one day, there is nothing you can do. The one that the ones that don't agree with your lifestyle, the lifestyle of your people, yet still have an open mind towards your people, towards your nation. I will say you should give him a go today. Ghanaian men are actually the best. Charlie, I've told you, I've given you tips. If you want a Ghanaian man to be on his knee for you, just love his country. You don't get problem. But don't be with him and constantly put Ghana down. Charlie, one person, you will not see. Okay, so I've given you these tips for free. So I really don't know how we're going to get this here back so that one person, that one of our Ghanaian brethren should go after this 
lady this our sister here and correct that impression what do you think if you are the one <laughs> if you are the one that will go correct the impression comment down below but she is she's they beating her chest me i've ever met in my life really they are men who do <laughs> not take care of their women okay never in your life even think about dating the Ghanaian men you will regret it Ghanaian men are the most so who who is gonna go who is gonna go kwame kweku um kofi if you hear your name there say present ma Kofi, Kwame, Atta, Kwabena, um, hey, 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 Mensa, if you hear your name, just say present, ma, um, if I remember your name, I'll call it, so, all the other names that I can remember, if you are in the building, you should go after the sister and correct the impression. So for me, I am signing out today. I will see you in my next video. Bye.